Comets are mostly found far away from the Earth in the solar system. Some exist in a wide disk beyond the orbit of Neptune called the Kuiper Belt. We call these short period comets. They take less than 200 years to orbit the Sun. Other comets live in the Oort cloud, the sphere-shaped outer edge of the solar system that is about 50 times farther away from the Sun than the Kuiper Belt. These are called long period comets because they take much longer to orbit the Sun. The comet with the longest known orbit takes more than 2,50,000 years to make just one trip around the Sun. The gravity of a planet or a star can pull comets from their homes in the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud. This tug can redirect a comet toward the Sun. The paths of these redirected comets look like long stretched ovals. As the comet is pulled faster and faster toward the Sun, it swings around behind the Sun, then heads back toward where it came from. Some comets dive right into the Sun, never to be seen again. When the comet is in the inner solar system, either coming or going, that's when we see it in our skies. Comets that are visible to the naked eye during the daytime are rare, but such cases are not unique. In the last 332 years, it has happened only 9 other times. Here is a listing of past comets that have achieved this amazing feat. In this list, we quote the brightness of the comets in terms of magnitude. On this scale, larger numbers represent dimmer objects. The brightest stars are generally zero to first magnitude, while super bright objects such as Venus and the Moon achieve negative magnitudes. Great Comet of 1680 Discovered on November 14, 1680, this was the first telescopic comet discovery in history. By December 4, the comet was visible at a magnitude of plus 2 with a tail 15 degrees long. On December 18, it arrived at perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, at a distance of 1.2 million kilometers. It was reported as being visible to the naked eye in daylight over Albany in New York. The comet faded from naked eye visibility by early February 1681. Great Comet of 1744 First sighted on November 29, 1743 as a dim fourth magnitude object, this comet brightened rapidly as it approached the Sun. By mid-January 1744, the comet was described as first magnitude with a 7 degree tail. By February 1st, it rivaled the star Sirius in brightness and displayed a curved tail 15 degrees in length. By February 18th, the comet was as bright as Venus and displayed two tails. On February 27th, it peaked at magnitude minus 7 and was reported visible in the daytime. Perihelion, or its closest point to the Sun, came on March 1st at a distance of 33 million kilometers from the Sun. Great Comet of 1843 The 1843 comet passed only 2,30,000 km from the Sun's photosphere on February 27, 1843. Although a few observations suggest that it was seen for a few weeks before this, it was on the 27th of February that it was widely observed in full daylight. Positioned only one degree from the Sun, this comet appeared as an elongated white cloud with a brilliant nucleus and a tail about one degree in length. In the days that followed, as the comet moved away from the Sun, it diminished in brightness, but its tail grew enormously, eventually attaining a length of 320 million kilometers. Great September Comet of 1882 This comet is perhaps the brightest comet that has ever been seen first spotted as a bright zero-magnitude object by a group of Italian sailors in the Southern Hemisphere on September 1st, this comet brightened dramatically as it approached its rendezvous with the Sun. By September 14th, it became visible in broad daylight and when it arrived at perihelion on the 17th, it passed at a distance of 4,25,000 km from the Sun's surface. On that day, some observers described the comet's silvery radiance as scarcely fainter than the limb of the Sun, suggesting a magnitude somewhere between minus 15 and minus 20. The following day, observers in Cordoba, in Spain, described the comet as a blazing star near the Sun.
The nucleus also broke into at least four separate parts in the days and weeks that followed. The comet became visible in the morning sky as an immense object with a brilliant tail. Today, some comet historians consider it as a super comet, far above the run of even great comets. Great January Comet of 1910 The first people to see this comet, then already at first magnitude, were workmen at a diamond mine in South Africa on January 13th of 1910. For the next few days, it was visible during the daytime, then moved northward and away from the sun, becoming a stupendous object in the evening sky for the rest of January in the Northern Hemisphere. Comet Scalarip Maristani of 1927 Another brilliant comet, first seen as a third magnitude object in early December 1927, this comet had the unfortunate distinction of arriving under the poorest observing circumstances possible. The orbital geometry was such that the approaching comet could not be seen in a dark sky at any time from either the northern or the southern hemisphere. Nevertheless, the comet reached tremendous magnitude at perihelion on December 18th. Located at a distance of 26.9 million kilometers from the Sun, it was visible in daylight about 5 degrees from the Sun at a magnitude of minus 6. As the comet moved out of the twilight and headed south into darker skies, it faded rapidly but still threw off an impressively long tail that reached up to 40 degrees in length by the end of the month. Comet Ikiasiki of 1965 this was the brightest comet of the 20th century and was found just over a month before it made perihelion passage in the morning sky. Moving rapidly toward the sun, on October 21st of 1965, the Ikiasiki swept within 1.2 million kilometers of the center of the sun. The comet was then visible as a brilliant object within a degree or two of the sun and wherever the sky was clear, the comet could be seen by observers merely by blocking out the sun with their hands. From Japan, the comet was described as appearing 10 times brighter than the full moon, corresponding to a magnitude of minus 15. Also at the time, the comet's nucleus was observed to break into two or three pieces. Therefore, the comet moved away from the sun, its head fading very rapidly but its twisted tail reaching out into space for up to 120 million kilometers. Comet West of 1976 this comet developed into a beautiful object in the morning sky of early March 1976 for Northern Hemisphere observers. It was observed in November 1975 by Danish astronomer Richard West in photographs taken at the European Southern Observatory in Chile. 17 hours after passing within 29.5 million kilometers of the Sun on February 25th, it was glimpsed with the naked eye 10 minutes before sunset. In the days that followed, Comet West displayed a brilliant head and a long tail that resembled a fantastic fountain of light. Comet McNaught of 2007 This comet was discovered in August 2006 by astronomer Robert McNaught at Australia's Siding Spring Observatory. This comet evolved into a brilliant object as it swept past the Sun on January 12, 2007 at a distance of just 25.6 million kilometers. The comet reached peak brightness on Sunday, January 14th, shining at a magnitude 5.1. After passing the Sun, Comet McNaught developed a large fan-shaped tail. This was all about the great comets. Hope you liked this video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to In-Depth.